A while ago I released a video showcasing this farm that's behind me. Now, late in that video it showed how to start the farm and some of the tips on how to build the farm. I did say late in that video I was going to try making a build tutorial, but it was just overly complicated and not worth actually putting in the effort. Now, today I'm going to showcase some of the tips and tricks on how to build the farm and some of the modifications you can make to make the farm a little bit easier to run. In regards to this farm working on spigot, I have gotten it to work on spigot, but that does not mean it will work on spigot. Simply speaking, I don't know if spigot will allow for this farm to work consistently. When starting this farm up, you're going to need some sort of sword that at least has mending and sweeping edge on it. Now, when starting the farm, you're going to need bad omen, and I'm just quickly going to give myself that. So now that you have bad omen, you want to enter the area of the raid farm. First thing you want to do is flick the lever. When the lever is flicked, you should see the that uh, cycling and this all here cycling. You now want to hit the node blocks which will cycle the raid all the way to the bottom and you want to stand in here. Now I use perspective mod to make it easier to see, but once you have this you can have your auto clicker or whatever you want set to like so, uh, player chasm attack interval 16 and now it is fully afk. The farm takes a bit to start running up but after a while it'll get much faster. When running this farm at max speed, uh, when you say you're out of clicker, it doesn't have to be any more or less than 800 milliseconds or 16 game ticks between each hit. Adding any more or less than that will have no beneficial gain. The sorting system for this farm is not the best and it's not meant to be the best. Personally, I would have put a shulker box loader in here, but since I don't know too much about those, I did not add one. Now when you have your farm running at max speed, generally flicking this lever will kill you. So if I just do this, he will die almost basically immediately. So I'm going to show you an easy way on how to fix that. The easiest way I find of doing this is by adding a easy comparator, uh, it's hopper clock my bad, into here. So if you just add this here, here, here. Take a say, take the output from here and wrap it around. Then, putting that, adding 48 items into here. So I'm just gonna simply do that. Then topping this off with glass to make sure nothing can spawn, and that's how I would do it. It's as simple as just adding that little component. It's just a simple hopper clock. So if I flick this and let the items filter in. After a while, all of these will be filled into here. Now when all the items are moved over into here, what you will notice is that this will be running and these will be open still all the way at the top. The pistons will still be open, but flicking the lever, it will close those, but it will still leave the rest of the farm running for 48, for as long as these 48 blocks last. Now, with that, it will keep falling and you keep killing them, but no new raids will be able to spawn, making it safe to be able to exit the farm. Now, the last part of this, uh, the last part of this farm I'll show you how to do is how to add the lava into here. So, normally when you do it, you put in the lava, it will flow over and just not be able to easily go into there. The easiest way I find of doing this is by simply adding blocks here placing the lava, waiting for it to flow over into the holes on either side, then you can easily just break the blocks in the middle. I'll leave the lava just flowing there and not going to the middle. So you can also do it on this side, add the two lava sources, wait for it to flow over, and when it's down in the hole, you can break these blocks, and it's set up. As of now, I'm working on a new raid farm that will work on Spigot that uses raid cancelling to get max raids without having to stack raids. If you have any questions about this raid farm, ask. Uh, look in the comments of this video. Chances are I will have replied to them and the questions you may have may have already been answered. This will be my final video on this raid farm. Once again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments.